welcome to What's Cooking, episode one. What's cooking tonight? We are going to have a white bean kale and sausage soup. So first, you get your ingredients out. Mine are all over the counter. You can't just see them right now, but they're there. And I have my pan. So first we're going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil in this pan and get it heated up for our sausage. And one thing I will tell you guys, when I'm baking, I follow recipes to a T. But when I'm cooking something like a soup or a casserole or something like that, I estimate a lot and I'll either add a little bit more or a little bit less and I kind of eyeball stuff. So you will learn that as we go through these cool recipes and you'll see that I just kind of wing it sometimes. So the oil is heated. I'm going to go grab my sausage. Um, I am using a chicken sausage. The recipe calls for a kielbasa. Um, you can really use any sausage you want, but I really like this chicken sausage, so that is what I'm using. And it also says to cut it into rounds. Well, that's a pain in the butt. So I just take the sausage links and I just squeeze it out of the casing into the pan and I just brown it um, and break it up into little like pieces like you would ground beef. So that is our first step and I will be back to show you the second step. Okay, so my sausage is just about done here and while this was browning, I cut up some of my vegetables. So we've got the carrots, celery, and onion that I am just finishing up here. And then I will take the sausage out of the pan. It says to drain it. However, there isn't much uh, grease in there because it's chicken sausage. So if you were using a sausage that had a higher fat content, yes, you'd want to drain it, but there really isn't anything in here. So I am just going to take this out and set it in a bowl. The recipe does say to put it on a paper towel, but again, if you're using a more greasy sausage, then that is probably what you want to do. With the chicken sausage, it's pretty lean. There's not a lot of fat or anything on it, um, and you don't want it to dry out either. So you definitely take care when you are choosing your sausages and how you um, deal with them afterwards uh, if you're not using exactly what the recipe is called for. So this is almost out of here. And then we're going to add a smidge more olive oil into the pan. Again, I believe it says a tablespoon. I don't really measure. I just do a couple of turns of the pan like around the pan with the um with my little dispenser here so i just use this and i left the burner on and i just kind of give it a little bit around here and we're just going to let that heat for a second and then we are going to add in our carrots our celery and our onions this is one onion about a cup of celery and about a cup and a half of carrots uh, that's about three carrots about two celery stalks and then just the one onion. All right, so we are gonna let that cook down and I'll see you back for the next step. Okay, so this has been simmering or sauteing for about three minutes. This is what it should look like, about just like that. The um, onion should be a little yellow, kind of translucent. Carrot should be caramelizing nicely. And then we are just going to add in our garlic. I bought pre-minced garlic, so I don't have to cut it up myself. And it is a big time saver. I just added a scoop. A scoop. Whoops. Um, if you want more, less, whatever. Again, I always just kind of play to our tastes when I'm cooking. Uh, this is going to saute for about a minute. You don't want the garlic to burn. And then we're going to add our broth and our seasonings. It says to use three uh, 14 and a half ounce cans of chicken broth. I'm using a little less than that because I don't like a real like liquidy soup. I like more of like a stoop, I guess. It's not going to be thick, but it's going to have less uh, broth and less liquid in it than it's calling for. 
I can always adjust at the end if I need to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It kind of just depends. The boys don't always like a lot of broth in their soup anyway. They always complain and say, do I have to drink that? So um, I'm just going to use the one box, which is a quart, so 32 ounces, and then one cup of water. So that is going to go in now. And once we get our liquid in, then we are going to add our seasonings. Uh, once the seasonings are in, we're going to bring this to a boil over a high heat. Once it's at a boil, we'll turn the heat down and simmer it for about 10 minutes. So there goes the water. And then we are going to add some dried parsley. Again, I don't measure. I just add how much I want. And then we also have oregano. some rosemary, and then just some fresh cracked pepper and a little salt. And again, we are going to turn this up to high heat and we are just going to simmer that for about 10 minutes after it comes to a boil. Okay, so that's been simmering for about 10 minutes. And the next step is to add in some chopped up kale. It says one and a half bunches. I'm just using one because it was a huge one. Um, and if you're not familiar with kale, I'm gonna kind of show you here. There is this big rib or vein that goes stem that goes down the back of it. So you wanna take that out because it's really rough. So I just fold it in half and lay it on the cutting board and just cut along that rib and then just kind of pull off any little pieces. So then this gets put in the garbage and the rest of this just gets roughly chopped. And then all of this kale gets put into the pot and we boil for another 10 minutes. So I'll show you back. In okay, we are back and we are almost done. So. The kale has simmered down for about 10 minutes. I did add more broth because that was a giant bunch of kale. And while it did cook down a little bit, it wasn't enough for the amount of broth that I had added previously. So I did put some more in, so it is more like a soup now. Uh, so next we're gonna add back in the sausage that we had cooked before. So we're gonna put that back in. And we are gonna add two cans of white beans. You can use either cannellini beans or these are great northern beans. They're pretty much the same thing. And then we are just going to warm that through. And now is also a good time to taste it to see if you need to adjust your seasonings at all. So once this is stirred around, I'm glad I added that broth because now that I added the beans and the sausage, it's really full. So we're just going to taste this. It needs a smidge more salt. So I'm just going to add another like little pinch of salt. And then we're just going to warm that through. Stir it around a little more. And then it will be time to eat.